Hey mate, before you enjoy today's episode, I wanted to take a moment to talk to you about the free 14 day transformation that we are currently running inside of the Unbreakable Man team. Now, if you're a man on the Gold Coast who's serious about improving his physical and mental health, building his self-confidence, and you want to become a part of a team of motivated and like-minded men, then this is the best chance that you are going to get. So as part of the 14 day transformation, you're going to get a personalized meal plan and a recipe cookbook to help you get your diet under control. You're going to be training with myself and the Unbreakable Men team for two whole weeks. And I'll be there by your side, helping you overcome any of the challenges that you will face along the way. If that sounds good, then get in touch with me by emailing me at mitch at unbreakableman.com.au. You can find all of my contact details on the website, which is just www.unbreakableman.com.au. Or you can message me on social media. Instagram is unbreakableman underscore challenge. And Facebook is just unbreakableman. That sounds good to you. Hit me up. I hope to hear from you soon. Back to the episode. You're just never, ever going to look back after putting in the work to climb that mountain. You're never going to look back and regret the fact that you chose to do that work. Especially once you've reached the top of the mountain. Once you've conquered that thing in your life. You're never going to regret all the pain and the hardship and the sacrifice you had to make to get there. You're always going to look back on it and be so grateful that you made those decisions. Hey mate, I'm Coach Mitch and welcome to the Unbreakable Man podcast. It's my goal to help you achieve excellent results in the area of your health and physical fitness, your career or business, your relationships and in your own personal passions. This is going to be your one-stop shop if you are the kind of man who wants to achieve his fullest potential in life. And the only way to do that is by becoming unbreakable. What's up, brother? Coach Mitch here, and welcome to this week's episode of the Unbreakable Man podcast. Now, today's episode is going to be a quick one, but um, I'm going to go through one of the things that I think is absolutely crucial when it comes to being successful in literally any area of our lives. And I think it's also one of the things that people underestimate the most about getting what they want out of life. And that is patience. It's not very sexy. It's not particularly exciting. However, I think every single one of us underestimates just how long it's going to take to get to where we truly want to get to in our lives. We all... Because especially in this day and age, because we often see people doing incredible things in ridiculously short periods of time. And we look at that and go, oh, amazing. I can do this in a couple of months or I can completely transform my life in like in a year. And it's just not the case most of the time. Sometimes for you in your situation with your background and, and everything that's happened to you in your life up until this point, the same result could take five years and then i remember having a conversation with one of my clients and and explaining to her that look this could take you two years to do this and she was really bummed out about that Uh, and oh my god two whole years and and the funny thing i thought was well the alternative is that you continue to feel the way that you feel now for the rest of your life so you could either spend the next two years, getting yourself together, changing the habits in your life that aren't helping you, you know, starting to feel better about yourself, starting to be fitter, stronger, you know, getting rid of smoking and, and the other things that are holding you back. You spend two years wrapping your head around all of that until you produce the result. And then you get to live the next 30, 40 years of your life without that problem. How amazing would that be? What if you could do that? But for a lot of people, the idea of trying and failing and struggling for two years to do something that can change their life for the rest of their life, it's its too much. It's too much. And, and look, that's okay. Like You don't have to think about the whole journey if it's a two, five, ten year journey, whatever it might be. You don't have to look at it all at once because, yeah, it's going to be a bit overwhelming. But if you go into it with the mindset of it could take this long, then... You're not going to be upset about the fact when six months down the track, you're not exactly where you want it to be, you know, but for me, I would happily struggle and suffer for a couple of years 
to then get to have the experience of life that I'm looking for for the decades after that. So that's something that I want you guys to think about when you think about the changes that you're looking to create in your life, especially if you're trying to change something about yourself that has been a problem for you for as long as you can remember. You know, another one of my clients, another one of the unbreakable men is is going through a really rough period right now. The last couple of months have been hard for him. And, you know, he's been a member of the group for over five years. And for basically all of that time, and for probably the last 40 years of his life, this man has been an alcoholic. You know, that's it's been a huge part of his identity and his existence for decades. And he's been training with us consistently every single week. And he's he's one of the he's one of the old heads in the group and uh, and a really well liked in the group. We all love this guy to bits. We want the best for him. And still taking five years of being surrounded by positive people who don't drink um, and who, you know, don't share that same vice to help him get to the point where he's finally finally recognized just how much this is costing him in his life you know costing him his relationship costing him um his job and all this other shit and so it takes time you know and he's he's only just started the journey of of leaving alcohol behind and it's taken five years of consistently training and coming on adventures with us and, and hanging out with you know people that are constantly encouraging him to do better things obviously He's had, you know, other influences in his life. You know, he has this group of people that he drinks with as well. So that was definitely holding him back. You know, again, the when you put yourself in an, an environment like that and you create those situations for yourself, then yeah, you're gonna turn you're gonna turn down that path, right? So but that's okay. You know, it took the guy five years to figure this out. And and you know, my question for you might be if you have something like that in your life something you're not happy with, you know, would you be willing to try and try and try for five years before you finally started to make some really serious progress? And if the answer is no, fair enough, that's okay. It's your life, it's your choice. However, then that just means that you're going to have this problem until the day you die. So it's, I'm not saying that either one of those options is super attractive, but I know which one I'd pick. You know, I'd much rather have this thing done. And, and if it if it takes time, maybe even more time than I anticipated to get the job done, then so be it. The point is, I get to leave this thing behind and I get to know what it's like on the other side of that. And I get all the benefits that are going to come with that. Like, you know, when, when my friend, uh, an Unbreakable Man member, when he's give him another 12 months of doing what he's doing now, his life's going to look totally different. You know, he already looks way better from a fitness perspective than he has in years. Um, and, you know, his relationships are going to be stronger. He's hanging out with with basically only people that are a good influence on him now. You, you're just never, ever going to look back after putting in the work to climb that mountain. You're never going to look back and regret the fact that you chose to do that work, especially once you've reached the top of the mountain. Once you've conquered that thing in your life, you're never going to regret all the pain and the hardship and the sacrifice you had to make to get there. You're always going to look back on it and be so grateful that you made those decisions. You know, because it's not just going to be the, it's not just going to be the result of removing the bad thing from your life or adding the good thing to your life that you're getting. You're also getting the result of, of, changing yourself in a positive way from going through that process as well and that new version of yourself that you get to be after that that journey now allows you to win in other areas of your life too so it's 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 one of i think it'd be one of the most rewarding things you could do with your life if you found the courage to make that decision and then do your best for as long as it took until you got there you know, and, uh, you know, one thing that I think can help us be patient as well, and I'm always going to come back to this because I just think it's such an important factor, is, once again, surrounding yourself with people that consistently encourage those good habits from you, even if your, your actions today are not 
instantly leading to the result that you're looking for. But if you just have people constantly validating your good decisions and and uh, the new positive habits you're creating in your life, it makes it so much easier to just continue in that in that direction because you're being encouraged to, you're being supported. So, man, if again, it's obviously a very very difficult decision to make if you want to make a big change in your life around something that's been holding you back forever. But my advice to you would be to find some people who you could get around that would encourage and support those decisions consistently. And don't get me wrong, like you can't rely on that. At the end of the day, this is you. It's your life. It's your choice. Uh, you have to always be the person that you're able to fall back on. But having a great environment around you certainly isn't going to hurt. That's for sure. So I suppose really then what this is all about is just about being able to delay gratification. You know, if you're able to do that, then your chance of success in literally any area improves drastically simply because, again, one thing I don't think we realize is that success is, in any area is not a linear process. It's There's plenty of ups and downs. And not only that, it's it's more exponential as well because I find that, you know, the first couple of months to a year to two years of, of whatever new journey or task you're setting yourself or new skill you're trying to learn, you're going to spend a lot of time fumbling around in the dark, finding out what doesn't work before you find out what does. And every single time you figure out what doesn't work and find out what does, you you add a new layer to your abilities or a new layer to your thought process. And those layers compound until the point where you have a bit of an aha moment or a light bulb. And then everything that you learned up until that point now becomes an asset and a tool, a tool that you can immediately employ to help you create a, a rapid change in, you know, a big change in not a lot of time. But so many of us are, are used to linear in our lives as well, you know, and that's, that's most people, right? Like if you think about if you work a nine to five or a job or something like that, your pay increases steadily over time. But if you run a business, um, then what you might find is business is really difficult for the first couple of years. And then once you figured it out, now all of a sudden you have the connections, you have the suppliers, you have, you know, a, a product that you know that works and it just takes off after that point. So even though you might be behind the, the other guy who's working that nine to five for the first couple of years, because he was guaranteed a, a paycheck initially, 10 years down the track, you're in a completely different stratosphere than that person because everything that you've done is now compounded and now you get to um, have that say. You get to be that person who's able to produce more value in less time because you've spent the time to create those skills for yourself. And the same goes for, you know, how you feel about yourself personally, your mental and physical health, your relationships, all of the work that you do, even though it's it's difficult and not necessarily giving you the feedback you want instantly it's all adding and layering up on top till, till you get to the point where where it all makes sense where you you're just sort of going oh shit that's 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 how i can use this skill that i learned or this thing that i now know it makes such a huge difference so yeah like i said i know it's not sexy and i know it's not the most exciting thing in the world and it's not what anyone wants to hear no one wants to hear that they need to be patient and be able to delay gratification if they want to get to where they're trying to get to. However, that's it. That you're going to have to do that if you truly want to win. And I'm telling you once again, if you decide to do that, if you decide to find the courage in, within yourself to go the distance and, and to take the, the hard path uh, and the one that takes longer but is ultimately the correct path, you're never going to look back and regret the fact that you did. You're always going to look back and be grateful for, for making that choice. So with that said, man, if you have any questions about today's episode, you can comment down below. Or if you want to email me personally, you can email me at mitch at unbreakableman.com.au with any questions you may have. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed the episode, guys. And I'll speak to you on the next one. Cheers. Hey, mate, I hope you enjoyed that episode of the Unbreakable Man podcast. 
If you did, it would be absolutely fantastic if you could leave us a five-star review because that's going to help us get our message in front of more men who need to hear it. Now, if you have some feedback for me, I'd love to hear that too. Comment down below. And if you just need some mini doses of Unbreakable Man motivation throughout your week, then you can follow us across all social platforms. On Facebook, it's Unbreakable Man Challenge. On Instagram, it's Unbreakable Man underscore challenge. And on TikTok and YouTube, it's just Unbreakable Man. Your support would be absolutely invaluable. Now, last but not least, do not forget, men aren't born, they're built.